Hello, good day everyone. This is Tebs. Welcome back again to this channel. Today's video is about a sharp LED TV, the TV is turning on, and the logo appears then turns off and the LED indicator blinks. I will show you how to fix it, and why this happens. If you like this content, so don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can also ring the notification bell. So you will be notified every time I upload a new video. So let's get started. This TV comes from another TV technician. When he replaced the defective LED bulb, the LED is working now, but as I show you at the beginning of this video shows the another problem. This is the main power supply, including the LED driver inverter. I will measure the voltage coming out of the inverter. The voltage is about 50 volts DC when on standby and about 59 volts DC if the inverter is on. Seems the inverter is ok. This ICTPS6197 single string white LED driver. I will disable the fault which is pin 15. To disable it is by disconnecting the line going to the main board. This line comes from the main board which the lead fault detection will be soldered to the ground. The problem still remains because the system has already detected the fault when the TV has trouble with the LED bulbs. I just show you how to disable the bulb fault detection. 
So when the LED bulb gets busted again, it won't happen the LED fault detection again. To solve the problem, is by entering the service mode. Unplug the TV, then press the input which is the center of the toggle switch, and the power button at the same time. Plug in the TV with the input and the power is pressed. Wait until the red light blinks. Release the input and power button. While the red light blinks, press the toggle switch up next to down and up again. and the screen displays like this then press the input within 5 seconds until the screen turns off and release the service mode should appear Now the TV is in service mode. It shows how many times the lamp which is the LED bulb has errors. Select page 09 slash 10 using the remote control. Reset the L air to 0 using the remote control. Turn off the TV and unplug it, wait until the red light disappeared. Plug in the TV then sees if is working. Looks working now. A few moments later. The TV is working great. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my content, so please like, share, and subscribe. You can also use the super thanks if you want to help me earn money. Once again, this is Tefs. See you again next time. Bye for now.